Hey cruisers. Um, yes, I'm at work again. Um, okay, so I've got a group that's getting ready to go. We're going to be gone here in about three and a half weeks. All right, so I've got 10 out of 14 of my people are first timers. So I'm going to go over briefly. This is basically a cruise in a nutshell. Um, things you can do before your cruise, you can get the drink package. Um, it's priced per day plus gratuity. So um, it'll allow you 15 alcoholic drinks and as many non-alcoholic frozen concoctions as you'd like, as many non-alcoholic milkshakes as you'd like, as well as bottled water, juices, soda, the whole nine yards. So anything that's non-alcoholic is unlimited throughout this whole thing. Um, another thing you can do is faster to the fun. It allows you to get on the ship faster. It has your room ready the minute you get on the ship. Um, it also allows you for priority tendering. Now we do not have a tender port um, in neither Key West nor Cozumel will have a tender port. So we don't have to worry about that. But um, it'll also give you faster debarkation. So if you have the faster to the fun, you'll be off the ship faster than most other people. Um, followed by the, you're following the, the platinum and the diamond members. But anyway, so those are some things that you can pre-purchase. You can also pre-purchase alcohol um, by the bottle on the ship. Go to carnival.com. You can check out what's in the, um, the fun shops. You can order alcohol if you want. If, if you really have this thing for um, a Captain and Coke, order a bottle of Captain Morgan. And they'll deliver it to your room. Um, get the soda package. You'll have unlimited Coca-Cola. So you can have your mixed drinks. If you take one of those like stainless, stainless steel tumblers along or something that's insulated that's going to keep your drink good and cold, knock yourself out. Um, you can pre-order water by the case. It's only like four fifty, five bucks, something like that. It's there's like 12, 12 bottles there. Um, you can pre-order, if you're doing a special occasion, you can pre-order birthday decorations, you can pre-order cookies, cakes, wine, champagne, chocolates, strawberries, whatever. Go to the fun shops and check and see what there might be that you, you want to have. Um, last year when we went, I ordered the welcome packet. It was a tote, a carnival tote bag. It had, um, two beach towels, two t-shirts, two visors, um, two champagne flutes that are etched. It has, um, it had a bottle of champagne. And also had um, a voucher for photos and a voucher for for drink package or drink. So um, I had those credited towards my account. I could use those as a, as a credit towards my account. So I got a drink with it, whatever. Um, those are things that you can get before you go. Um, on the day you go, make sure you have your birth certificate. It has to be the one from the Department of State, not the one from the hospital. The one from the hospital is good to put in a frame and hang on the wall, and that's the only thing it's good for. Um, it is not going to get you on the ship. So make sure you have a valid photo ID. If your driver's license expires the day before, you're going to be out of luck. So check, please, 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 everybody, check your driver's license, check your passports, make sure they are still valid. Don't use them as a primary form of ID if it's going to expire. Um, things, other things that you can do before you go, um, Amazon, shop Amazon. Um, this one, uh, again do it. I will put a link below to a, a charging hub that I have. It's uh, It's got six USB ports on it. It has one 110 outlet plug. You plug it into the um, outlet in your wall and you can charge six things by USB cord. I've got my GoPro, my son's phone, my phone. Um, he's cyber schooled, so he's going to have to at least check in with school. So technically school won't even know he's missing. We'll take my iPad along because I can download some pictures and stuff like that on it. Or I can transfer some video to my, my iPad. Um, so things like that, that we can do. Um, and plus it, it gives me something to do in downtime and not that there's a whole lot, but it'll give me something to do in some downtime. Anyway. Um, so I've got like five or six things that I'm going to be charging by USB and there's only one outlet in the room. So, uh, my cruisers are going to get a little three outlet non surge protector strip that they're going to be able to plug into the wall and plug three different things into. Um, Make sure you have a lanyard. Uh, my group will have them because I'm going to be taking them along. If you're going to be on my ship with me, I'm in room cabin number U118. I'm on the upper deck. U118. On the door is going to be a poster. It's going to say Dreamboat Vacation Mobile Office. Look for it. There's going to be a hook there. I'm going to have extra lanyards hanging there. If you need one, grab it. If you don't, that's fine. Leave it for somebody else. Somebody's going to need a lanyard. Um, I'm going to take some extra ones just in case anybody needs them. Um, even people that aren't in my travel group, but are still going to be on the same ship that are in my Facebook group. So this is more so for my Facebook people. Anyway, um, so little things like that. Um, sunscreen. I cannot stress it enough. Make sure you pack plenty of sunscreen. If you are checking a bag, take the whole dang bottle. 
Um, spray is not going to cut it. You can take spray for the in-between applications, but make sure you have a strong lotion. That sun is intense. Um, we are coming from central Pennsylvania at the end of October. We're not getting much sun right here. So that sun is going to be brutal. Um, so I'm just telling you now, make sure you take sunscreen and make sure you have SPF lip balm. So make sure you take something to protect your lips. Um, and please take something to cover the kids, um, whether it's a, a shirt or heavy sunscreen, you know, 50,000 50, SPF, whatever you got. Anyway, but sunscreen is something I cannot stress enough. Um, I'm trying to think because we're getting down to crunch time now. Uh, crunch time in the fact that there's a lot of things that, little stuff that I don't think of that uh, I'm trying to think of that needs to be done before we go. Um, yeah, your, your IDs need to be valid. Um, make sure you take sunscreen. Pre-purchase anything you want to get. The internet package, the drink package, and um, the bottomless bubbles package are all cheaper before embarkation. So purchase them within like up to 24 or 48 hours ahead of time. You're going to get a percentage off. So um, that's that kind of stuff. Again, when you get to the ship that day, you're going to... Um, okay, this isn't really in a nutshell, but anyway... Uh, when you get to the ship that day, you're going to give your check bag to the porter. You can take your carry-on bag inside. Please, please put your medications in your carry-on bag. Don't put it in your checked bag. Never put your medications in your check bag if you're flying. Keep them in your purse. Keep them in a backpack. Keep them on your, your body so that you have it. Never, ever put your medications in a checked bag that you don't have in your possession because if something happens and you don't get them, um, you know, if you have a CPAP machine, keep it with you. Don't give it to the porter. Don't give it to the checked, you know, don't put it in your checked luggage. Keep it, be smart about it. Keep it with you. Um, but on embarkation day, you're going to give your checked bag to the, to the porter and you can tip him a couple of bucks. He will take your checked bag. They will deliver it to your room. It'll be sitting outside your room at some point throughout the rest of the day. If you have faster to the fun, we have priority luggage delivery. So you'll have that, um, there for you. Um, if you don't want to give your bags to the porter, that's fine. It must fit through the x-ray machine when you do the check-in process. The porter is going to take your bag. It's kind of like um, going into an airport where you go to the gate and you check, or you go to the counter and you check in and you give them your checked luggage. And then you go through TSA and your whatever carry-ons you have have to go through the x-ray machine. It's the same concept. You'll give your bag to the porter, whatever is not going to fit in the x-ray machine. Whatever you get inside and you get checked in, or you start to get checked in, you will go through security. And whatever you have with you must fit through that x-ray machine. Carnival.com will give you the dimensions of the bag. I don't know them off the top of my head. Um, but stuff like that. Um, always keep a couple of small bills on you for tipping this person, that person, whatever. They don't. It's not required, but it is helpful. And it is polite to do that. Um, once you get um, through the check-in process, you'll have to wait in a short line. Usually it's not very long because we always get there early. And, and there's a whole bunch of people lined up at counters. You're going to um, go up to one of those counters and they'll call for you and they'll say, you know, I'll take whoever's next. You'll go up to one of those counters. You're going to check in with them and they're going to take your photo ID. You're going to take your um, form of payment for your sale and sign card. So whether it be cash, credit card, gift card, however you want to do it, that's where you do that. Some ships are still giving out the sale and sign cards right then. Some ships are delivering them to the mailbox right outside your cabin door. If you do not get your sale and sign card and you have the drink package or the soda package or whatever, don't panic. Your boarding pass will act as your sale and sign card once you get on the ship. If you get to if you don't have faster to the fun and your room's not ready, they're going to have that hallway blocked off. Um, so don't go to your room until it's ready. They'll, they'll announce when they're ready. Um, so when you get to your room and you see the envelope outside your room that has your sale and sign cards in it, that's when you can use those to, to hook them on your lanyard and you can um, use those then to buy your drinks or whatever. But if you don't have that and you don't have your card yet, don't panic. Use your boarding pass. It's going to act the same way. It doesn't work the rest of the trip, but it will act as your sale and sign card. It will go to your account for that, for that day. Um, Passports are not required for this trip, um, for the for the November group. They are not required. I don't want anybody to think that they are. They are highly suggested, highly recommended that you get one, a passport book, only because if something stupid happens and you get left behind on one of the islands, the best way back to the U.S. is going to be through a passport book. It's not required. 
don't worry about it. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Um, and actually the real ID has been extended. So even that's not going to be a concern for us. So, um, those are little things that I'm thinking of right now off the top of my head. I will put some links in the description below for some for some uh, Amazon items that I found to be really, really helpful on the last cruise I was on and will be definitely packing again this time. So, you know, if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, we're down to like 26, 27 days, something like that. Today's the 5th and we leave on the 1st. So I guess technically in a month from today, we'll be coming home. Sad to, see, sad to think about, but nonetheless. So anyway, I will put some description, I'll put some links in the description below. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Um, let me know when you're going because I'd love to, I'd love to wish you goodbye. Talk to you later. Have a great day.